Hey there, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my very first eyeshadow tutorial on this eye look. I use the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced and the White Peach palette from Too Faced. Let me know what you guys think. It's just a spring kind of orangey look. Obviously it's orangey. Hopefully you guys like it and would like to see more tutorials because I want to film some more. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. So I've already primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion Original and now I'm just going to set that with the white peach shade. I normally set it with um, this NYX shadow, it's just a single eyeshadow and it matches my skin tone pretty well and I don't know where I put it so I'm gonna just use this for now. I think I want to go into Georgia right here and with the same brush I'm just gonna fluff that through the crease. This is my first eyeshadow tutorial so bear with me. Hopefully I'm in focus and you can see what I'm doing and I don't look too ridiculous. I want it to stick to this Sweet Peach palette only, but I think I'm going to dip into the White Peach. So I'm going to take Peach Sorbet on this double-ended Lorac brush and kind of also buff that into the crease. That just added a lot more color, which is kind of what I was going for. I think I wanted the Georgia shade to be like this when I first got it, a little bit more pigmented. It looks so pretty and pink and in the pan, but I think I'm going to go in with creme de la peach all over the lid. And we'll figure out what I want to do from there. I think I'll go with my finger. No, it didn't help at all. I have this weird like brown spot going on. Well, what's going on? Kind of dusting this all over the lid, hoping to build it up. I feel like maybe it's kind of oxidizing on me. What is going on with my face? Um, I'll also take that into the crease because I have really large eyelids and the color tends to disappear as soon as I open my eyes. Maybe just my eyes today, but the color's just a tiny bit patchy. Not what I was going for. I'm gonna go back into the Sweet Peach palette into Candied Peach and I'm trying this new brush that I got from Ipsy. Let's see what I want to do with this. Um, let's put it in there. Oh, it's nice and soft. And I'm dusting it everywhere because that's how I do my makeup. And since my eyelids are hooded, sometimes I like to, you know, kind of halfway close my eyes and go a bit above. Um, sure. Sure, why not? Let's see, nectar or peaches and dreams? Let's go in with both. So let's go in with Peaches and Dreams first and dot that in the center to add a little bit more lightness. These are the Vintage Cosmetics Company brushes that I got from BoxyCharm and I love them. Maybe I'll go in with my finger. This Peaches and Dreams shade is so pretty and it feels so creamy to the touch. All right, let's see, what do I want to do? Let's take Nectar from the Sweet Peach palette. And let's go in the inner corners here. I really like to take a lighter shadow and sometimes my highlight up and in this kind of like C area. I feel like it just brightens the eyes. I'm gonna just blend that out a little bit better. Now I'm going to go back into the fluffy brush and Georgia since it's light, not really pigmented, and just kind of buff that out. Okay, it's way too hot to have my hair down, even though my hair is short, so it shouldn't really make a difference, but it does. And I had this weird patch of like darkness going on right there, so I just went over it with Peaches and Dreams a little bit more because I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but whatever. Let's go in with White Peach under the brow bone. Do Peaches and Cream on the bottom just as like a little base. 
I never <laughs> do my I mean, uh, what am I saying? I never usually do my face makeup first and then my eye makeup. I always do my eye makeup first. I don't know, it's like a weird thing. So this is so odd for me to do it the other way around. <laughs> Let's take a little bit of peach sorbet again and just bring that under, underneath. My eyes are two different shapes, so sometimes I have to put on eyeshadow accordingly. As with everybody's eye shape, you know? Gotta do what works for you. I'm actually gonna use some candied peach on the bottom. Kind of as like a really close to the lash line. So I don't look too crazy. Just to add a little bit more contour to my eye. Cause I have big bulging eyes. What can I say? I'm gonna take some fuzzy and go like right underneath that. Just to add a little bit of darkness I guess add more definition otherwise I look really weird who knows maybe this will make me look weird this eye is always the weirdest since I don't want to add liner to make it too dark and heavy I am going to just do a little shadow really close to the lash line I'm gonna use delectable it's like this dark purple shade I'm just gonna kind of stamp it really close to my lash line That'll help to make my lashes look a little fuller and then kind of smudge it out just the tiniest bit. Maybe just a little tiny fleck. <laughs> of course they don't come out the same. <laughs> Cause that would be too easy you now, wouldn't it? All right, I did a little baby wing. Maybe just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the bottom, outer corner. I'm gonna go back in with that nectar shade because I really want it to be very bright in the inner corner. I didn't use my normal Benefit erase paste under my eyes today because I was trying something else. And I just see my dark circles and it's driving me nuts. It's like, oh, cute springy eye makeup look. Let's look like I'm 100 and didn't get any sleep last night. I'm going to curl my eyelashes and then add some mascara because my eyelashes are stick straight. I'm gonna add some mascara. I'm gonna use the Tarte Tarteiste Lash Paint Mascara. I've been liking this lately for, you know, days when I don't do a wing eyeliner and I just kind of want my eyelashes to be tinted darker because they're pretty light, especially at the ends. So this is good at separating, and that's a big chunk of glitter, where'd that go? <laughs> This is good at separating and just kind of, you know, coating my lashes. I have been sick, so my skin is really dry, and I'm testing out the Physician Formula Healthy Foundation, and I just don't know if I like the way it's sitting right here. It's actually disappeared from here. Hmm. I was hoping it would last a little bit longer. I've only had it on for about like an hour, not even. My camera coming off, but I'm gonna fill in my brows now. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo because it's kind of the only thing I use. Not really. I test out a bunch of different brow products. I like this because I don't tend to go overboard with it like some other brow products. just tend to make my eyebrows way too dark and defined and that's not really a look I personally like on myself. I mean a lot of people can pull that off. but. I don't think I can. So this just adds a nice kind of tint, fill in my scar area. And I'm just going to quickly set it just lightly with the Gimme Brow, just to kind of make it stay a little fluffy, you know, separate it a bit. Nothing crazy. Let's add some lips. Let's see, I have the Pure Peach, mm, that's a little neon. And I have another color, I have no idea what it is. Mm. Or, uh, I'll stick with Too Faced. So I really don't know what shade this is because it is not listed anywhere on this bottle and I threw out the box. It's not pure peach, I know that. Maybe it's just peachy, I don't know. I'll try and find it. But I'll just go over. Oh. I'm 
so good at tutorials. Oh my god. So just to add a nice glossy peachy pink lip. I am not pleased with this foundation. It is looking terrible. Like stupid bad around this area. It just looks like I have like a mustache. It wore away. And I mean, I'm not sure the color matches me very well. I thought it did at first when I first applied it, but now it's looking kind of pinky, pinky orange. I don't know. I don't think it matches me very well. That's everything that I wanted to do with this eye look today. It's just a little orange springy makeup look with the sweet peach palettes, the white peach, and the original sweet peach. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and it goes well. I would like to do more tutorials and if you have any suggestions on how to make it better, just write it down below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave that down below as well and I'll list all my face products down in the description bar. I usually do in case anybody's wondering. I don't know if anybody is, but if you are, they're down there. Thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you guys soon. What is this? This is like stupid jazz hands. All right, I'm cut off.